Hello, everybody. Today is Thursday, the twenty second, and let us pray before we go on to the quiet time. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask you to be with us as we read along the passage today, and also meditate on your words. Father, help us to understand your words. Help us to apply to our lives and to be more like you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Today's passage is Jeremiah chapter fifty, verse twenty-first to thirty-two. Let us read together. Enemies of Babylon attack their land, destroy them completely. Announces the Lord. The noise of battle is heard in the land. It is the noise of the great city being destroyed. How empty Babylon is among the nations! Babylon, I set a trap for you, and you were caught before you knew it. That is because you opposed me. I have brought out the weapons I use when I am angry. Do not leave anyone alive there. How terrible it will be for them! Their time to be judged has come. Listen to those who have returned from Babylon. They are announcing in Zion how I have paid Babylon back for destroying my temple. Send for men armed with bows and arrows against Babylon. They have dared to disobey me. I am the Holy One of Israel. You can be sure its soldiers will be put to death. Announces the Lord, proud Babylonians, I am against you. Announces the Lord, the Lord who rules over all says, it is time for you to be punished. No one will help you up. I will start a fire. It will burn up everyone around you. Amen. The title of today is time for punishment. Dun dun dun. God punished Babylon because they opposed and despised God. They destroyed His temple and steal all the stone from His temple. God was angry and announced that other nations would attack them and destroy them all because they are despicable, mean, and prideful. They are bad people. Therefore, it is so important that you have to know God. If you don't know who God is, then it is easier to be prideful and sin against God. When we are proud, we disobey God. Let us remember that we will stand upon God and we will be judged on the judgment day. On the last day. Everyone will be punished, just like Noah, who has able to save his family by obeying God's command. We were saved by Jesus. As you know, Jesus died for us on the cross and resurrected from the dead. Jesus rescued us from our sins and from hell. Let's pray. Please repeat after me. Dear mighty God, we humbly come before you. Lord, I accept you as my savior. Dear Jesus, please come into my life. Please dwell in me. Change me into your image, dear Holy Spirit. Please come to my life. Renew my heart. I want to be more like you. I want to follow you. Thank you, Jesus. For forgiving my sins, 
Thank you for giving me freedom and everlasting life. I believe in you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Wow, great job. You have just accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. God bless you. See you next time.